I'm not a star. Somebody lied. I got a pistol in the car. All right, people. This is Drake Ginza, Lucky Talk Talk. I'm here to clear up some rumors. This is a re-up video from uh, my Skyrim on Mac. A lot of people think you can't game on Mac. Well, here you just see me press high quality, ultra quality settings for Skyrim on a Mac. There's going to be some video for Battlefield 3. But jumping into Skyrim, there's not going to be any heavy gameplay, but it's just showing you the graphic content and the capabilities of Macs. I mean, you know, you hear a lot of uh, PC window nerds saying, oh, you can't game on the Mac. Uh, yeah, it's not possible. It's just not going to work. Uh, game on the Mac, uh, laugh all out. Uh, LMAO. You know, you hear someone say that, shank them in their fucking face. Bottom line. Because you're seeing it right here. In ultra high settings, Skyrim on a Mac. You don't see any bottlenecking. You don't see any glitching. Now, here's the thing. It does require Windows. If you're thinking about using parallels of VMware Fusion running virtual machines to game on them, light games only, Skyrim, Battlefield, things like that, Call of Duty, hell no. You'll just be wasting time, money, and you'll just wind up smacking yourself on the head. Now, Boot Camp is built into every Mac, but you need a copy of Windows. This game looks great. And hell, this is just my SLR sitting in front of my uh, plasma. And it still looks this damn good. So I'm going to show you a little nighttime play. Um, different environments. Daytime. Going to some snowy environments. All over Skyrim here. And you know it's a big world. And if you don't know about Elder Scrolls. Pretty much. It's a large game. It's got a lot of content. You can do a lot. Now check out this water. This is beautifully textured water. I'm just going to take a swim. Check it out. Is it not gorgeous? This is a very in-depth and detailed game. I respect it. It is a great game. And I'm usually the Final Fantasy person. But check out this water though. Look at the reflections. Look how gorgeous this game is. And this is on a Mac. It's 27 inch iMac. Uh, mid 2011. 3.4 GHz high end model. 12 gigs of RAM. Have as much RAM as you can. You can put up to 16 in this model. It's cheap when you go to Crucial.com. And Crucial is like the best memory. That can and Kensington, in my opinion. Uh, check it out. But gaming here on my Mac is awesome. Check it out. I'm just running around. And once again, I'm just running around showing you different scenery or what have you. Uh, Battlefield is a true prize. Now, that's not going to be in ultra high settings. It's going to be in all high settings, which I'll, of course, show you. But ultra high is not going to happen. You definitely are going to want a PC for that. Now, here's the thing Macs are better than PC, in my opinion, in a lot of ways. But when it comes to gaming, PC rules. I mean, Mac really doesn't have any games outside of Call of Duty 4 and a few others, Borderlands and things of that nature. But. You know, if you look at the uh, the Steam um, versus uh, Steam Steam on PC versus Steam on Mac, freaking PC rules. Windows just rules games. Bottom line, it rules over consoles. It's a it's a beast. Now for gaming, hell yeah, for graphics, performance, better players, you'll get that on a computer any day. You'll get that on PC any day. Hopefully, gaming will get serious on Mac, but at the moment, it's not. And those wolves, I, I handed those wolves their asses straight up. But yeah, this is just me up at the uh, Winterhold um, Mage College. Just running around, just showing you some different graphics. You see the snow is highly detailed, vibrant colors, and shadows. And this is all running off my Mac. Now... Here's the thing, PC gaming can be a bit expensive, you know, graphics card processing and stuff like that, but you really don't have to, if you really think about it, it's expensive initially, but you don't have to really upgrade often, that's the thing. You will if you're an enthusiast or you're just a big old nerd, you'll probably want to have the best stuff all the time, but it's really not necessary. Now, if you're playing Skyrim on console, cool. If you're playing Battlefield 3 on console, you suck. That game reeks. It's slow, it's buggy, it's glitchy. 
It, you move like a fat man. It sucks. Like, it's just not a good game. I was expecting Battlefield to completely crush Modern Warfare. And it did on PC. Console, Modern Warfare 3 rules. And that's a that's just a damn shame. I, I play the game. You know, I even have some videos. Check out my other videos for other tech-wise. And, you know, other uh, gameplay videos. Modern Warfare or Battlefield or Skyrim. Whatever. But... Battlefield should only be played on PC. That's the only way you're going to get the graphics, the smooth game play, the accuracy of using a mouse or what have you. And I was skeptical against using Windows, or for that matter, using a mouse to game. Yeah, you step on there and you will get shot in your head if you make the wrong move. Straight up. Any game I've seen so far performs better on a computer. And a computer does have downfalls like you know, viruses, um, expense, shit like that. But here's the thing. Consoles, well, hell, Xbox, they get the red light of death. They damn near blow up on you. PS3, this shit, they're getting hacked and giving all your personal information away. So, I mean, where and when are you really safe? Now, here's Battlefield 3. Now, I'm going to show you in all high settings. And, I mean, this game is sick on PC. More players, more content. It's just a better game. Bigger maps. So, check it out there. All high settings. Now, this is not something I changed. It was on auto. And it shows it off the, um, the specs of my computer. And I got all high settings. Ultra high, I've tried it. It will lag, bottleneck, everything. But if you keep it at all high and you have a decent enough Mac, and it's not necessarily your processor, it's your amount of RAM and your graphics card, you should be okay. So I'm going to jump into some gameplay here. Kill a couple of fools and get killed myself. But you're going to see some really nice sights. It's really hard not to play this game. If this game was, if Battlefield was the way it is on Windows, on console, I doubt many people would even play Call of Duty. Because this seems like it will be slower, but not on PC though, it's great. The animations, like, like the guy jumping and you see his feet flying in the air and stuff like that. The infrared beam, the shadows. Now, once again, this is just my S my SLR sitting in front of my plasma. And apparently this game is 3D as well, on PC only, though. But, I mean, this, this TV is... It is 3D, but... Hell, I don't use it for I use it as a computer monitor. Here, I'm getting shot at by a tank. And check it out. My health is zero. I should have died. Like, I'm like, he threw a rock at me. He'd have killed me. And hear me here's me acting like a badass. Like, what do you want to do? Got my knife out. Yeah, right. I got my ass handed to me. I just didn't die. But I officially got my ass whooped. So I just lay around here and camp for a second and uh, get my health back up. And then I'll head on out to the battlefield. This is game is gorgeous as you can see so nice textures lighting shadows um, the movement the frame rate is all great I just seen some dude I'm gonna kill this motherfucker right here die bitch took me a little bit a little minute to do it but uh killed that motherfucker hell yeah and turn around what the hell you doing bastard Hell yeah. But as you can see, like, the game is just gorgeous. Everything's so realistic looking. I mean, obviously you can tell it's a game, but still, it has some very great sights. But I just want you, everyone to know that you're not out of the dark. You're not in the dark or out of the, um, or drowning in water because you can't, you feel like you can't game on a Mac. You absolutely can. And here's my noobness. Boom, boom, boom. Uh... So don't feel like you're you come up short by getting a Mac and you can't game on it. You can, especially with the newer Macs. And I've been Macs have been capable of gaming for a very long time. 
but you still have to do it through Windows. Call of Duty 4 can be done through uh, Mac, but hey, all the newest shit, got to do it through Windows. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, comment, rate, and uh, give me some suggestions or anything you want to see, and I'll jump right on it, if it's doable. I'm not a star, somebody lied, I got a pistol in the car.